The village of Alwaladja, northwest of Bethlehem, has been under threat since the start of the occupation in 1967. In that year, Israel annexed part of the land but not its rightful owners, who continued to be regarded as West Bank residents without citizenship rights. Overnight, the villagers were turned into strangers in their own homes a situation that has led to construction bans and house demolitions. The predicament of the village has deteriorated significantly in 2002 when the Israeli authorities announced plans to build the annexation wall on the lands of Al-Waladja. The village will be sealed completely and we are a very small village. We don't have any facility in the village. We don't have a clinic, we don't have any kind of source of income here except of some pieces of land that will be cut off by the wall. So when you seal people and you have a gate and you can close it and open it, then you control everybody. The villagers are challenging the route of the wall in the Israeli courts and through non-violent demonstrations held each Friday. It came as no surprise that the Israeli army would resort to force in order to suppress these demonstrations, using batons, tear gas and sound grenades against the protesters. What did in fact baffle the villagers was the silence and inaction from the neighbouring winery in Silesian Catholic Monastery of Kremisan. <laughs> In alcuni casi è proficuo intervenire, in altri casi potrebbe essere dannoso. Until now, the Kremison Monastery hasn't joined the villages in their opposition to the wall. The main reason given by the Silesians is that they are powerless against the Israeli military occupation and that they need permission from Rome, a permission that doesn't come. La Santa Sede di per sé non si sta interessando di queste robe qui. La persona che sarebbe più interessata al salvaguardia dei terreni sarebbe il patriarca perché è un palestinese, è particolarmente sensibile a queste cose qui, ma lui sa molto bene che non può fare niente perché il terreno ufficialmente, anche se per diritto canonico noi non possiamo agire assolutamente senza il permesso dei nostri superiori di Roma. La Chiesa dovrebbe darlo, le autorità dovrebbero darlo ma anche loro potranno, potrebbero, perché ci sono certe cose, certi accordi segreti, no, che salvaguardano certi interessi. The villagers and the church have come to terms with the fact that, for the time being, they cannot prevent the building of the wall, and the only possibility is to struggle for a slight alteration to its route. At present, the route takes some land from the monastery, but doesn't jeopardise the function of the winery. While in Waladja, the wall will completely encircle the village and go right up to the front doors of the villagers' homes. I don't know how is it to, to grow up in a cage. I mean, it's going to be a real cage. It's going to be a real jail with concrete walls from one side and maybe a fence from the other and one gate closed and opened by an order of a soldier. So we're trying just to push it away from our front doors. If the villagers succeed in court, the wall could well be moved deeper into the lands of Kremison and divide the monastery in two as pushing it further away from the village would go against the land-grabbing policy of Israel or would mean it came too close to the nearby settlements of Gilo and Hargilo. Certo, se loro chiedessero di spostare il muro e ci portassero via metà del territorio di di Cremisan, se la Santa Sede ci dice lasciateglielo, però non mi sembra una cosa logica, avremmo da bisticciare noi con loro. Diciamo così, in una situazione di stallo, Abbiamo fatto e non facciamo più, perché è inutile. È inutile è reagire. Si corre il rischio di perdere anche quel poco che si ha. There is no question that the Cremison Monastery and the Church never wanted this wall, but as things stand today, they would rather have a wall that runs in front of the villagers' homes than a wall that would cut the monastery in two and ruin their wine business. It's not a pretty sight, but it seems that the Church, this is the lesser of two evils.